Hello folks, Mike Cannon, part of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group. And today we're going to do a short video on how to update the TN2312 AP or BP firmware. IP Server Interface Firmware Update, more commonly referred to as the IPSI. The TN2312 AP and BP each have a unique set of firmware. Ensure you are downloading the correct firmware for the board you're going to be updating. The IPSI always resides in a tone clock slot of a carrier, and it performs the tone clock functionality. So when you update the IPSI board, you're going to reset that tone clock, which will have an impact on that port network if it's a simplex IPSI. The assumption we're going to make today is that you have the correct TN2312 AP or BP firmware on your laptop. I'm logged into the CM web pages as Craft. I enter the craft password. I say yes to suppress alarm origination. I scroll to administration and I select server maintenance. I'm going to scroll to the bottom because all our work is in the bottom half. I then go to under Ipsy firmware upgrades to Ipsy version. And we're going to query the IPSI in cabinet number 1A. The IPSI board I have is a TN2312BP, hardware version 12, and the firmware version is 47. I have firmware version 54 on my laptop. So we go down to download files. Select the radio button to download from the machine I'm using to connect to the server. And browse to the folder where TN2312BP firmware 54 is at, highlight it and click open. Once it's on the machine, scroll down to download. The following files have been successfully downloaded to the server. So the firmware 54 for the IPSI has been downloaded successfully. Looks like it's about 54 meg in size. Our next step is to go up to download IPSI firmware. And the start time for download for us will be download now. We're not going to schedule it. So download now. The IPSI in cabinet number 01A is the target. And the file we're going to use is the one we just downloaded. So firmware 54. Scroll to the bottom and select download firmware. IPSI firmware download start it. Next step is to go to download status. And you can see up top the IPSI firmware download is currently active. Down below I have a history of the firmware I downloaded to this board. This is the second time I put firmware 54 on this board so it took about 30 seconds. There's not a refresh in this page so to refresh it you have to click download status again. As I said, in about 30 seconds, an IPSI firmware download is not currently active, and I have a fourth entry under my history. And you can see I completed it at 10.49 and 22 seconds. So next we go up to Activate IPSI Upgrade. And we're going to select the one in Cabinet 1A. Select Activation Time. I'm not going to schedule this. We're going to begin the activation now. Activate IPSI Upgrade. IPSI Firmware Activation Started. Click Activation Status. And IPSI Activation is not currently active. And you can see at 2021, so about a minute later, when I activated it, successfully reset. So the board, I'm looking at it now, is successfully reset. It's starting to come back up. And I can see the CLAN and the MedPro starting to come back up. Because remember, I have a simplex IPSI, and it's a tone clock for that port network. So all those boards are re-registering to that cabinet at this time. So in about a minute, I'm going to go back up to IPSI version. I see the boards look like they all came up. We're going to query all. And 
and my single board comes up, my TN2312BP hardware version 12 is now firmware version 54. We have successfully updated the IPSI board. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentoratavaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Again, thanks for choosing Avaya.